What if in Premiere Pro you could enhance your terrible footage to high quality video or give old footage color, maybe fix unplayable corrupted video files, remove the background in one click and so much more. Yeah, keep dreaming and that's never gonna happen in Premiere. Now, if you're looking for a tool that can do all of the above, I might have something for you. This is called Hitpaw Fikpia. They asked me to check out the features, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, in the homepage, you'll see a lot of tools you can use. But first, we're going to check out the video enhancer. So here I have a video that has a pretty low resolution, so the quality isn't that great. Let's drag the video into the enhancer and click on preview. Now you'll have to wait a little until it's done rendering. That way you can preview the first three seconds of the clip. And if you like what you see, you can export it all the way. Let me zoom in and see if it actually enhanced the quality. Well, it looks great, but perhaps we can get an even better result by tweaking the model settings. You can actually choose a model. The general model will remove the video compression and more. This is what we've just used. The video quality repair model basically does the same, but much better. If you enable the AI pilot, Vicpia will diagnose your video and choose the best model for you. Let's Let's skip the portrait model for now, I'll show you that one later. Now for the export settings, you can choose the output resolution. Let's set it to 4K and you can basically leave the other settings as they are. Next click on preview again, let it render and let's see if it actually worked. Yeah, that definitely has much more detail now and what I like is that they didn't just add sharpness because if they did it would have looked sandy. You know what I mean? It actually upscaled my video and gave it more details. Awesome. All right, next we're gonna try it with a video of a woman. Let's see if this tool is able to enhance this video too. Let's drag this clip in and tweak the settings. Let me use the AI pilot and let it choose the best model for my video. It'll probably use the portrait model now. For the export settings, we obviously want it to be 4K. Next, click on preview again and wait for the video to render. Honestly, this one took longer to load, but hey, the result is awesome. Wow, after exporting, you can actually see how much better the video looks. Now, if we go back to the homepage, you can see more than just one upscale scale model. Let's try the old home movies preset. Now here I have a clip from 2009. This is my brother-in-law when he was still little. Now this is going to be extremely difficult to revive because the video is already playing on an old TV and then that TV was filmed with an old smartphone. And that's exactly why the quality sucks. So I enabled the portrait generation model. That way I will enhance the face. Let's try it. You can clearly see the detail that came back thanks to AI. Let me know what you guys think of this. All right, let's try the AI color feature. You can do four things here. Low light enhancement, color enhancement, SDR to HDR or colorizing a black and white video. I'm gonna try that one. Okay, it looks a little oversaturated, but that's not a problem because now it has color, which means we can easily tweak it in Premiere. Let's try it with a second clip. And that one looks great as well. Imagine you can do this for your grandparents. That would be really cool, right? Next, let's take a look at the video repair models. This is everything the tool can do. Now, I don't have any footage that needs repairing, but if you have a video that does, please test it out with the free trial down below and let me know. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys results. Now next I want to test out the AI toolbox. I haven't tested this one yet so what you're going to see is a live result. The watermark remover. I created this video with my own watermark and this tool should be able to remove it. Obviously do not do this on footage that doesn't belong to you. Use it for personal stuff only. No brainer. Hmm, the, the result is a little bit jittery. I would prefer it just use Gaussian blur or something that would have looked better. But let's not stop here. I tested out more footage and I came to the conclusion that this tool works well when there are no harsh objects behind the watermark. It works perfectly on blue sky, for example. So in that case, the tool is very useful. Next, I want to show you the stabilization tool. I do not have a steady hand at all. I always need a gimbal. Let's see if this tool will pass the test. Look at these beautiful horses. Let it render and all right, that looks good. It doesn't look deformed like the warp stabilizer in Premiere Pro. Next, frame interpolation. So I created this video of my car and I slowed it down until it has a shoppy frame rate. You know, just to see if this tool really works. Let's drag it into the software and let it do its thing. 
Hmm, okay, to be completely transparent, I had to wait seven minutes for this, but the result is super good. I don't have anything to say about it. Last but not least, let's test out the background remover and see how well it works. Who knows, maybe we don't have to mask or rotoscope again. You have a lot of options here. You can blur the background, let it be completely transparent, or add a color slash background to the image. Okay guys, I think I just found my new rotoscope tool. I hate masking and I hate rotoscoping in After Effects, and this one is gonna do the job for me in the future. It works extremely well and surprisingly fast too. In my opinion, this is their best tool. Anyway, you can try all of these out completely for free by clicking the link down below. I highly recommend you guys do and please give feedback down below so that other people can also try it. If you want to skip the trial, I also have another link down below where you can get 20% off thanks to Hitpaw. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching.